of the suspect in custody. Uh, at approximately 1.30 this afternoon, the Pasco Sheriff's Office got a call involving a shooting at this movie theater right behind me. At that time, we immediately responded. Um, the shooter, we got him in custody. I want to make sure I re reiterate that as many times as possible. He is in custody. Uh, what happened was uh, around 1.20, uh, there were patrons in there about to see the movie Lone Survivor. Uh, during that time, the suspect was sitting in a seat with somebody else he was accompanied with. The victim was sitting, was sitting in front of him. He was also accompanied with somebody else. During this time, the victim was on his cell phone. He was texting. Um, we believe he was making some type of noise. This noise led to an altercation between the suspect and the victim. During that altercation, the victim decide, the suspect decides to pull out a 380 and he shoots the victim. Uh, we, there's another shot that was fired at that time. We have two victims. Uh, they've been transported to the hospital. I do not know uh, how they are at this time. As soon as we get information, we'll, allow you, we'll get it to you. Uh, but I want to make sure everybody realizes that the suspect has been taken into custody. He is being questioned right now. Um, I want to thank everybody um, here at the movie theater. They've been very cooperative to all our citizens that were here. Um, they are cooperating with us, and especially to our deputies at the Pasco Sheriff's Office. Um, when you hear this come over the radio, your heart drops. And I could tell you the way they responded was outstanding. They did one heck of a job, and I can't say how proud I am of them for all they did today. Sheriff, can you tell us how he was taken into custody and the response by the deputies? In other words, what transpired after the shooting? Yeah, uh, as soon as I can get that information, I'll get it to you. Um, as I said, this is an ongoing investigation. I want to make sure when I get you the information, it's the right information. And that's what, once I get you that clear information as to what happened and who what who may have been involved, I'm going to make sure I get that to you. Yes, he's, he's inside and we're talking to him right now. Yeah, uh, what, yeah what we believe this is over is somebody texting. Um, and we can tell you right now that the movie had not started. Um, it was a 120 starting, so we know that they're probably going through the previews. And, it, yeah, it's absolutely crazy that you know, it would lie, rise to this level of altercation over somebody just texting in a movie theater. But I can tell you right now, you know, when this goes out, um, everybody is paranoid. They're scared because a movie theater should be somewhere safe where people are out there to enjoy themselves. Um, but unfortunately, what America has seen over the past couple of years is that movie theaters have become, you know, dangerous places where incidents occur. And you know, when you hear there's a shooting at a movie theater, the first thing you think is the worst. But I can tell our citizens this was an isolated incident. These were probably two people that, you know, fate just brought them together today. Um, they would have never known each other um, if uh, other circumstances had been in play. Um, they just both decided to come to this movie theater, and by chance they were both sitting that close to each other, and this is what happened over an altercation over just some noise off of a cell phone. Did you have a war in mind as the deputies were on the way? Absolutely. Uh, when the first call came in and you're hearing a shooting at a movie theater, the first thing you think is those critical incidents that have gone on throughout the country. That's why we train for them. I can tell you the Pasco Sheriff's Office has been prepared and will be prepared for any type of incident. We never want this to happen. No law enforcement agency would ever want this to happen. We thank God it was not to that type of level, but even any type of shooting that occurs in our county and a movie theater of any places, you know, that's when, you know, the back of your hair sticks up as you're running code to this place, to uh, this location, wondering what is really going on here. Ground floor, second floor. I was on the ground floor.